For many years, investors have sought to diversify their equity investments to include stocks both inside and outside their home countries. More recently, investors have shown a growing interest in more diversified global investment opportunities, including commercial real estate investment. REITs now exist in more than 20 countries, meaning that investors now have the opportunity to invest in commercial property markets worldwide. But what role should REITs and other listed property companies play in a global investment portfolio? To answer that question, the investment experts at Ibbotson Associates analyzed how an investor could form an optimal global investment portfolio, including commercial real estate. Over the past 18 years, the average annual return on global real estate investments has been 14%. That's significantly higher than global stocks, which averaged 10% per year, and much higher than global bonds, which averaged less than 7%. North American real estate, that is REITs in the US and Canada, provided especially strong risk-adjusted returns with total returns averaging more than 16% and volatility significantly less than either European or Asian property companies. Because of this record of past performance, Ibbotson estimated that optimal global investment portfolios over the past 18 years should have had between 27 and 47% of the portfolio invested in real estate, depending on the investor's risk tolerance and almost all of that should have been invested in North America. Investors who had real estate in their optimal global portfolios could have achieved returns between one-half and two and one-half percentage points per year higher than investors who failed to include any real estate in their portfolios and with no additional portfolio risk. As we all know, of course, future investment returns may be quite different than past performance. So we typically are not willing to invest as much in any one investment going forward as we would be willing to do with perfect hindsight. In particular, investments with consistently higher volatility generally are expected to provide higher returns over time to compensate investors. Therefore, the experts at Ibbotson also did a forward-looking analysis in which they assumed that Asian and European real estate would provide higher long-term returns in keeping with the higher volatility of those investments. Using these assumptions, Ibbotson Associates found that real estate still would be expected to play a significant role in an optimal, forward-looking global investment portfolio. For a fairly risk-averse investor, such as someone in or near retirement, Ibbotson estimated that 11% of the portfolio should be invested in global real estate, with nearly half of that allocated to North America primarily the U.S. For an investor with medium risk tolerance, Ibbotson estimated that global real estate should account for just over one-fifth of the total portfolio, with again nearly half of that in North America. And for a more aggressive investor, Ibbotson estimated that more than one-third of an optimal portfolio should be invested in global real estate, with about one-third of that invested in North America and the other 23% in European and Asian real estate. Commercial real estate has always had an important role alongside the other three core asset classes, stocks, bonds, and cash, in a well-performing, diversified investment portfolio. Whether investors focus on domestic opportunities or global assets, real estate has historically offered strong returns, moderate volatility, and low correlations with the other core asset classes. And while nobody can predict returns going forward, the Ibbotson analysis suggests that global real estate should continue to form about one-fifth of the portfolio for global investors with moderate risk tolerance.